Now you were from London town, but we had to leave you with the girls from London now, but keep calm. Exploding with colour and energy, London's African Art Fair 154 feels like it could burst out of its conservative home at Somerset House. It brings together 130 artists from the continent under one roof. From the arms chair of Mozambique sculptor Goncalo Mabudo, using leftover weapons from the country's civil war, to the intricate cubist drawings depicting frenetic life in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Each room feels fresh, but only for Western audiences, says founder Turia El Glawi. It's always emerging from the West, you know, but they're not so emerging, you know, when you talk about artists who are extremely established on their, in their country, in their continent. So this is what we're trying to change as well, is obviously changing the narrative, changing the history, and make sure that African artists are included in the, the new art history where they should have been for a long time. Many of the pieces here use found materials, seed pods, electrical wire, plastics. From the political pieces, to pure fun. This painting by Ghanaian artist Godfrey Donko sold for $23,000, bought by Hussam Otaibi, who also sponsored the fair, as a strong depiction of black empowerment. Collecting is a very selfish part of kind of the process of loving art. So you want to give something back, you want to share it. And I think that's part of what we do. Yeah, it's, it's in the heart of the, our culture, you know, being philanthropic. African art as a kind of an art movement is very underrepresented in, in kind of the art world, which is something we thought we should give them kind of a platform. Nigerian artist Abe Odedina describes himself as a folk artist. This one is called Son of the Soil and the Cake Thieves. And really the idea is we've all had this slightly uncomfortable feeling that something has been stolen. There's values have been stolen, people's rights have been stolen in many communities. There's so much that seems, that we thought was in place, that has been stolen. So many pieces at this fair deal with the issue of identity, like this one by Alexis Peskin. He's covered his portraits in an armour of nails, a technique that he calls acupainting, a type of acupuncture to help heal the trauma of age-old discrimination. The market for this art is strong and there's only one way for it to go. Charlie Angela Al Jazeera, London.